So many twists. Josh. <laughs> Josh. How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No. Nope. No, no, no. They're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. We're gonna fucking pay, you dick! Ah, what happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Revelation. Three hours until dawn. You're so confused. All will be revealed. There's a lot going on in this one. God, she's such a dork. We are Emily a lot. Same one we already saw. Oh shit. I thought I was picking something up, not dropping down. You should really hold that flare up higher so you're not staring right into it. She's gonna need glasses. That didn't look fortunate, but okay. Unless he was about to shoot Emily in the fucking face, and that's what her death totem was about earlier. How funny would it be to watch Mike shoot Emily? I keep, like, making decisions to move forward, thinking that I'm just investigating something. Why, oh, yeah, Jesus, please. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Sorry, I was flustered. Left. Did it let me choose? I press left. Out 
Yeah, take that. Fuck, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, well we got one of them knocked over, so that's fine. I didn't know that was there. Get away from that door. Ding bat. Never. Why do they do that? Why do they always lean against the door? where the thing is that just attacked them. That looked like a fun way to escape. She got fucked up though. She has to have broken her ass bone by now, you think? Trying to make them all good people as best I can. So damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. Em, Em, you can relax. Josh was messing with They're us. They're not listening to me. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it, it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh, it. my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know, I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, my... Barely. What about Matt? We're trying Thank to you, Chris. That out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. So, when we, on all my champions, when we played this, we hated Emily, so in that scene where she's running through the mines away from it, we just put the controller down. Already, whoever it is is probably gone by now. <laughs> uh, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun.
I think that's what it is. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? The Wendigo. About? Who the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> somewhere safe the basement might be okay okay get down there now all of you and wait what why for how long until dawn she said it again she said the name of the game i ran off and left josh when i heard screaming where did you leave him in the shed uh, your friend will already be dead no no he, he can't be I, we, we were just with him a lot can happen quickly on this mountain no. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, it's always nice yeah, to have, like, the old crusty guy come explain the situation. And do everything I tell you. Shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. Come on, we need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh? What, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'd be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, but it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. Fire. They don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like it's like tough armor unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern, like any animal or human. Like how? Like they've got schedules? 
Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh... This is one of the things I liked about this game. It's like, you don't like see a whole lot of Wendigo games. Smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. It was cool. It was something different. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Foreshadowing. We're gonna have no other choice. Damn it! Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So go watch that. Can I explore in here? Oh crap. You want a win to go? You do not. Where fake Josh died. Ah, forget it. All right, well, none of that was evidence or anything, so this was a waste of time. The Wendigos, in my opinion, are way scarier than the werewolves in the quarry. Wait. Shit! That was so sudden! Run. And I didn't move. Oh, I should have shot the guy because he would have exploded with the fire. He has those cans. Nice roll. Suck it. I need fire! It's a good thing we keep so many explosive fire things. Did get Josh. Oh, thank God. It took you so long. It's not 
so good up there right now? Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. That guy went down so fast for somebody who was like an expert on them. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. They keep and saying it. Safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike, it's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. I'm We're gonna read books. That. So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up there. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing. Oh, it no, just it, oh, no, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. This was before the werewolf game. If the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said no, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? I do hate Emily. The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the safe room, Em. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't do oh, this was from her death scene. He can't really shoot her. Sorry. Bah! I'm not gonna shoot her. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my God. Right At least we know what it would look like if I did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird you guys know what to do yeah why not because that's not how windigos work okay. i would literally just it's be murdering her out there i'll be back soon
I thought that that he was gonna help us. Is the flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Now we're Ashley. Cannibalism. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever left kept them. This guy's a little OCD. Kept them under control. Heed these words, it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is de desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become murky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled across the bones. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans told stories of, tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The There's a lot of history to this. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Good thing we didn't chop up that deer. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found, they found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunt. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic I'll kill you, their Ashley. prey. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are trying to keep, if you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and the flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them, and fire drives them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountains. Remember the trap that, that Mike lost his fingers to? Wendigo trap. Let's go ahead and let her say what she's going to say. Okay. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. I, out on the mountain, they were... Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the wind to go at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Skull and ribcage fell miles apart. Who survived the collapse? It's just about the miners. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. That's why we didn't shoot Emily in the face. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see um, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? 
Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, please, Emily. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. What if Chris so, just so, got up so and punched sorry. her? Hey! Shit, shit, shit. I got a trophy. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. I shouldn't have known that until now. I actually did. I I, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't have shot her the first time I played it. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. I know they're not werewolves. Or passively or... allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Oh, rip. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. You did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something worse than death itself. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, Man of Badan will be next.